hello everyone so till now we have found you no know, we have learned two to three things that how to find the maximum number of negative real root and maximum number of positive real root we have also seen how to find a maximum number of uh, real roots and the imaginary roots in an equation right but what does a cat ask you a cat will ask you exact number of real roots remember that cat is going to ask you exact number of real roots so, but abhi tak humne ye nahi sikha right now in this video we going to learn how to find the exact number of real roots in a particular equation right so let's start now guys in order to find this remember that you need to use a simple method of differentiation i hope you guys know that school mein humne padha hoga right okay so agar bhul gaye ho to i'll just remind you here so how to find the number of real roots fine in order to find this let's say if i take a simple equation x cube plus 3x plus 5 equal to 0 ab isme mujhe pucha hai ki what is the exact number of real roots that's what they are asking ठीक है नो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम गोइंग टू डिफरेंशिएट इट ठीक है अब डिफरेंशिएट कैसे करते थे लेट्स से दिस इज द फंक्शन f ऑफ x तो इसे कैसे डिफरेंशिएट करते थे आई होप यू गाइस नो दिस अगर नहीं जानते हो तो यू कैन कनेक्ट मी टू मी पर्सनली आई विल हेल्प यू विद दिस अगर इसे डिफरेंशिएट करते हैं तो क्या आ जाता है ये आगे चला जाएगा ऐसे राइट सो दिस इज 3x स्क्वायर हो जाएगा मेरा राइट एंड सो we lose one power here and then this again when i differentiate x it turns out to be 1 so this is 3x square plus 1 right when i look into this equation clearly that if i put any value of x here right this equation is going to turn out to be a positive value yes guys this is going to turn out to always be positive right so now remember that whenever i differentiate a function okay so if it is greater than 0 or it is less than 0 ठीक है इन बोथ केस यू विल हैव नंबर ऑफ एग्जैक्ट रियल रूट्स टू बी वन ठीक है एंड वन मोर कंडीशन शुड बी दैट दैट द पावर शुड बी ऑड ठीक है आई जस्ट राइट डाउन हियर सो इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द एग्जैक्ट नंबर ऑफ रियल रूट्स यू नीड टू हैव ऑड डिग्री इक्वेशन ठीक है इवन पे भी आएंगे अभी थोड़ा सा सुन लो लेट से ऑड डिग्री इक्वेशन प्लस इफ द इक्वेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग Or decreasing, okay. If here I have seen that clearly, it is no increasing, right? If there is such a case, let's say x cube plus three, such a case. No, if I keep putting a negative value here, if keep um, no, it will keep giving me the the lesser values, right? So that's the thing here, right? So this is keep on decreasing. An example, right? Okay. So if it either increasing or decreasing, okay, you will always have one real root. Remember that one real root. ये हमेशा वन रियल रूट होगा ठीक है रिमेंबर दैट अगेन आई एल रिपीट दिस वंस अगेन इन इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ रियल रूट्स एन इक्वेशन गिवन टू मी आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट डिफरेंशिएट इट मैंने जस्ट डिफरेंशिएट किया आई कुड सी दैट दिस फंक्शन और दिस पॉलीनोमियल वाज ऑलवेज अ ग्रेटर देन 0 इट विल ऑलवेज बी अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ठीक है इवन इफ इट इज अ पॉजिटिव और इफ इट इज अ नेगेटिव इन बोथ द केसेस व्हाट विल हैपन इज you just need to follow this condition or degree equation plus even if it is increasing or decreasing you will always have a one real root now in order to support this we are going to see some examples so let's take an example this is x cube minus 6x square plus 15x plus 3 ye maine ek equation le liya theek hai this is a polynomial given to me right what do we do first right and one more thing guys जब मैंने आपको बता जब वेन एवर आई वॉज टेलिंग यू इन द फर्स्ट प्रीवियस वीडियो रिमेंबर दैट नो वेन एवर यू हैव अ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन लेट्स से एक्स क्यूब प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस टेन लेट्स एन क्यूबिक इक्वेशन सो मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ रियल रूट एंड मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ इमेजिनरी रूट रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू दैट इमेजिनरी रूट विल ऑलवेज बी इन नो इन एन इवन नंबर राइट इट विल ऑलवेज अकर इन इवन नंबर so i know that if it is having zero real number so imaginary will be 3 but this condition won't satisfy right so if the real number is 1 imaginary will be 2 right this condition satisfy now what does this tell me that it tells me that you know the cubic equation will have at least one real number for sure why because this condition doesn't exist 
right this condition will never satisfy the real number uh, no real root 0 hai and imaginary root 3 hai, right it is never going to satisfy yes it can be possible that if it is having a two real root it can have one imaginary root right or if it is having all three real three real roots imaginary roots can be zero but here real roots cannot be zero as this condition doesn't exist right so a cubic equation will always have one real root right now with this method i know that this is always going to have one real root so minimum number of real roots here is one i know that right it's one but what is exact number we're going to find with the previous method whatever we have learned till now so what we do first we try to differentiate so let's try to differentiate here so this is differentiation karte hai, not differentiate we call it as differentiation take it so this is going to be 3x square minus 12x plus 15 right all right now i need to find out that if this equation is a positive or negative well, let's say if i take 3 as the common i'm getting straight away as 4x plus 5 now again it, it, it might be a little difficult to find out here but i have a quadratic polynomial inside and i can clearly see that here the d d is less than 0 right i hope you guys know by the time what is d d is nothing but b square minus 4ac which is 0 i know that if this value or d here is greater than 0 my graph is always going to be positive right it's always going to be it's not going to touch this right because roots are imaginary i know that right so in that case i know that the differentiation here f of x is nothing but greater than 0 right so i have the point now right i have the odd degree take it and i have the my polynomial as increasing so what did we learn previously right odd degree right so uh sorry for the bad handwriting odd degree plus function either increasing or decreasing right so what it will have it will have exactly one roots exactly one real root okay question what is the maximum number of real roots here so what is the maximum number of real roots that is nothing but one okay i hope you guys understood this and please give uh, keep this concept in mind as well this will be really helpful okay now in order to make your concept concrete let's see one more example now so a basic example let's say x to the power 5 i'm taking a function okay plus 5 of x plus 6 okay now again just by looking into this you can tell me that okay sir at least one minimum uh no minimum real roots it can have is one that's for sure right why we have already seen that in the previous example okay now but how many you know what is the exact real roots that i need to find it out okay now either its real root is positive real root or it can be a negative real roots that's a no different case but mujhe pata karna hai kitna exact number hai, right positive negative either positive hai real root or negative hai. we're going to find out on the later videos fine all right so what we do we quickly differentiate right differentiation karna hai pe. this is 5x to the power 4 plus 5 right again i can see that this is clearly an increasing function it will always be positive right so i know that in the case with the previous case i know that odd power okay odd power plus an increasing right it's clearly going to give me exactly one real roots okay fine i hope you guys know are taking the track now okay so this method has a limitation again right so in the next video we are going to learn something very important where you can use for no either even if it is an odd power or even power you can use the rule for any equation you have to find the exact number of real roots okay and the method is also going to tell you the exact roots plus if the root is either positive root or it's a negative root okay all right Chalo, let's move to the next video